afterwards. Uh, also be careful with your army. A Hydra, Hydras can deal a huge amount of damage really early uh, against you if you're careless. So you gotta storm this, this stuff up real quick. Uh, that storm is just gonna make all the difference against the wor in the world against Hydras. Uh, if he's only making Hydras and he doesn't seem to be making Lurkers, uh, then you can manage with just Zealot High Templars. But if he's making Lurkers, you get you're gonna start Dragoons. Um, but if it's only Ling Hydra, you're not gonna need Dragoons for almost anything really, since Dragoons don't really deal that much damage against against Hydras. They're not bad, but they're not that good either. I'd rather spend the gas on a lot of storms. Uh, when storming, it's very important to uh, think first of all off, think what kind of a storm would be really hard to dodge. Like for example, right over there, I calculated a bit. I'm forcing him back to his base through that small gap, uh, and my main army is meeting him. Um, so he really doesn't have uh, any sort of place to dodge. Uh, my main army is in the front, so he can't really dodge to the front. And the small gap is so small that he doesn't, he can't can't avoid the storm properly either. And another way, if he is really good and doesn't really force himself to such place, uh, the other option is just either wishing for a lucky storm or storming as many places as uh, at a time as simply possible. He can. If he's good, he can micro a couple of places, but he can't micro very many places. So you just gotta try in general. If he's if you're facing facing a larger hydra mass, you just gotta uh, pretty much uh, look um, like dot like play storms on however many places at a time as possible. For example, right now I'm placing it over to two places, though he escaped with some. Uh, with a hydras which I targeted it to, so when a storm uh, didn't really get fired, which isn't really a problem, I can just use it later on. Um, also notice that he's making a very aggressive hydra break. I didn't really even expand that fast, and he's still uh, putting this much pressure on me, so it pretty much means that he's gonna make a almost all in hydra, and uh, that's a word. so it means that if I can defend this well and I can manage, I can get my game rolling and so on, I can. I, I can like win this whole thing without uh, with just defending against him. Uh, right now, he probably thought uh, that uh, his early mutants didn't really do anything, so and it, they were fast too. So he gotta do something if he wants to uh, like win the game. Uh, that. This is one option since I'm getting a second expansion. He probably has only his second expansion as well, and uh, and he and uh, that's pretty much the only way he can regain the game. Uh, I have more. I have a better economy. Uh, he he really got behind with that early game uh, since he didn't do anything. So the early game hydro pressure is pretty much uh, everything he can possibly manage and think of, uh, and the only wise choice. So in the, Overall, this is just me trying to defend against him. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the very important part about when defending this is that you're gonna need a lot of cannons, so keep remaking them. And uh, even if you're winning at the one point, he might suddenly like be able to pull off a much larger mass later on. And also, a very important thing as well is to keep making those gateways and keep making those units. It's You usually forget it since you have so much to do and so much to micro, but making those gateways ensures that you're slowly able to produce more and more units and you won't be able to, be, you won't be forced behind. You're able to have uh, like more units than him eventually uh, and that's very necessary when defending against this at first when he starts this uh, you're just gonna survive with the occasional storms uh, whatever cannons harasses whatever uh, but uh, but in this case uh, eventually you will get a larger mass so you gotta aim for that larger mass as fast as possible also since I have extra money at this point uh, I also decided to end the and I had pretty much beaten the rush and I'm in the safe zone so I can just expand again okay GG